We're at Southwick, baby. Made it to the National. Super excited to uh, finally get out there and race with the big dogs. on the low speed rear, stiffer. And then in three on the rebound, just to s slow it down. Tighten it? Yeah. The whole day was kind of a blur, honestly, and felt like a dream I was living. I don't think any other round or pro motocross race would kind of give me that feeling as well. It had to be Southwick, because that's where I grew up. I have baby pictures there, you know, just Seeing it and smelling it every year it doesn't get old, so to be there and be one of the guys out there and racing, it was, it was epic. Make sure it has oil, make sure it's got fluids, make sure it's got gas, and yeah. Josh is usually so calm that it stresses everyone else out. <laughs> like, you know you gotta race, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be ready for it. Same usual thoughts running through your head on a race day before the start. Uh, Southwick, I was obviously very stressed for the hot lap, not used to anything like that. Just going all out and then you make it or you don't, you know, or go to the LCQ. Really didn't want to go there. Honestly, Steve and Denise Hatch have taught me a lot, just breathing techniques to calm the nerves and get yourself in the now, you know, just in the moment and uh, not so anxious thinking about what's, what's going to be coming up, but just living it now and uh, doing what you can. was fifth or sixth in that one by the sounds of it should be in so got about two clean laps in off the start the first lap was the free lap and just kind of fought my way to like the third or fourth guy and uh, that's where I knew I needed to be Jimmy D was out front I watched motocross my whole life and you can imagine what it's gonna feel like to be out there you know but until you're trying to qualify and you're stressing about the hot lap it, you don't know the feeling. <laughs> so I, wa I wanted so badly to experience that and I'm stoked I did. It was just a lot of like fear, pressure and stuff to overcome when you're there. And uh, yeah, it was just a just mental, uh, I guess, breakthrough. But uh, yeah, just totally expanded my perspective.
I kind of had this desire to race everything growing up, watching enduro GPs and motocross and just a wide variety. I was just like, I'm a dirt bike rider. I want to ride everything there is. And kind of uh, pigeonholed myself into just racing two series, you know, and uh, not being able to branch out like I'd, I'd like to. And so I've been wanting to do this for a while. And then Sipes also came out with his program, the General Sipes. And yeah, it was like, that's my dream job. Just watching him do it, it was, it, he's an inspiration. Like he's crushed it, everything he's done. So yeah, to see what he's done, it's, uh, it's cool to look up to and hopefully someday I'm there.
live like a king The same thing that drives you Your death it will bring You love your money You love your cars Your diamond earrings Your credit cards And it doesn't matter How much I pay Cause please believe me, babe I better live for the day You love your money You love your cars Your diamond earrings Your credit cards And it doesn't matter How much I pay Cause please believe me, babe I better live for the day I was happy in like Moto2 not really getting lapped to the last lap. And uh, I thought that was an achievement, but obviously uh, I'm not, not the leader's pace, but I think there's a lot of improvement to be had. I don't feel like I was maxed out. But motocross, I don't have any kind of background at all. So doing Southwick was, yeah, um, not my first motocross race, but um, top 10 maybe, something like that. Yeah, something I wanted to do for so long. And to finally do it was, was epic. I could die happy, but um, I want to go back and do better. I want to score points. And I think I learned a lot, just bike setup, uh, preparation, and, and overall nerves. Like, we'll be a lot uh, calmer going into it next time. I do like want to make clear, and I tell people, this, this whole program is not really to just to screw off and have fun. It's also to just push my limits. I'm, totally pushed to my limits at everything I've done so far this year. It just expanded my perspective, like I said, and I think coming back to a series like GNCC or Enduros in the future is gonna, I'm only gonna be better, you know, just with that experience. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a program, like it's a lot of fun and it's a, been an absolute blast, but I've taken every event serious and want to do the very best I can and represent my sponsors well.